Hello, everyone. This is David Stark from WatcherPass.com, your website for movie reviews, interviews, and recommendations. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Murder, Berry Win, which is a new dark comedy board game based murder film um, that is being released digitally by Gravitas Ventures. It came out in April, and this is my fault. I sat on it. I didn't review. I didn't watch it until recently, and I'm very upset that I didn't because it is a fantastic film. Uh, it you know it, it spoke to me directly. It has a lot of um, nerd humor, board game humor, and then it also kind of mixes that with some true crime and some uh, you know murder type uh, exploits. So it, I'm really upset because this is kind of a film that I would uh, I, I loved and I should have known I would love back when I got it. It is an indie film by Michael Levin who wrote, directed, produced, and edited the film is you can tell it's a small project but it is so well done um the the cast centers around these three friends uh chris who's played by michelin walker adam played by eric lane and barrett played by henry alexander kelly and the thing i loved is that they all bring different things to this group i should mention right now that i'm going to get into some spoilers of this film if you don't want any spoilers Go walk, go read the written review of watcherpass.com. I go into spoiler-free reviews. I try to keep them very vague so you can get a sense of the film there. But if you want to hear some more about details in the film, keep watching and uh, enjoy. Uh, so Chris is more, he's more of the level-headed person. He's kind of the leader in the, in the group. He clearly loves board games. He works at a board game store and knows, you know, about the, the you know, BV Stubbs, the master board game, uh, the master game maker who we meet later in the film. Um, his friend Adam is more impulsive. He uh, kind of doesn't think of consequences before he takes his actions. He kind of goes based on instinct. And he is also the more um, ruthless of the, th of the three. Um, and then there is Barrett, who is, he is soft-spoken. He has good intentions. He doesn't want to do some of the more extreme actions that occur later. Um, and so the three of them balance each other very well. And it, through their interactions, they get a lot of the humor in this film. And the, and the film is, it's very funny. It is, it is a, a dark comedy. So if you're interested in that, this is a great film for you. I just loved everything about this film. I, you know, I loved the cast. I loved the setup. I loved the board game aspects. I mean, the, the film has this wonderful kind of board game humor where it parodies a bunch of, you know, well, well, well-known board games if you're in the space and and comes up with these kind of knockoff versions that you can tell where they are but I, it was really funny to to see them and also to hear some of the comments from the you know quote-unquote purest board game uh players to, about these other games that are very popular but uh you know th that may not be your more traditional you know deep complex uh game experiences um and so uh, let me let me do the you know i'm gonna try this new thing to try to keep these reviews short and easy to to follow so i'm gonna do three things i liked and then some things i didn't like so the first thing i loved or loved loved i'll go with loved about this film uh, is the cast like the cast is you know they're all very well cast you know they, they play major roles because the cast is so small uh, but they all do it so well like i love the, the group of three like the, the three friends as i mentioned they all kind of add something different to this little group and their their interactions are fun it's, it's really fun to see you know kind of adam's crazy impulsive behavior uh and then chris and barrett's reactions to that or the, you know they'll chris and barrett will be discussing something and adam will go off and do it and you know inevitably mess it up because that, that's kind of his character but you know, seeing what what their looks when they realize what Adam has just done was a lot of fun to see. Uh, and the film has, you know, the the the, the VV Stubbs character played by Craig Kakowski is also you know very fun. He's not in for a very long time, but he is perfectly situated as this you know brilliant board game maker, but also business person and kind of the uh, the way that he critiques the game and then also the ruthlessness that he tries to then uh, convince them to sell it to him was great to see you know it was it was it was a it provided the main conflict in the film um second thing i loved as i already mentioned is the the, the nerd humor and and the true crime aspects like it, it has this wonderful board game 
uh, so you can you can tell that Michael Lovin loved board games because he brings it all into this film. You know, there's references to board games, there's references to mechanics in board games, and there's critiques of of how the game works. But then you can also tell he loves true crime because some of the game is called Murder Barry Win, and so actions in the game are about murder, burying, or winning. Um, and so you get actions that you know. You get some sort, some some death, murder actions and some body concealment actions that uh, are are fun if you're into that area. Like it's fun to kind of see some of the comments about the various disposal methods or the various uh, you know ways to dispose of body. It's kind of like uh, like Clue on steroids. Uh, and so that's that was a lot of fun to see. And the third thing I liked is it has these really great kind of vignettes when they're playing the game where the characters act out what's happening. Uh, and I thought that that was, um, you know, that, that was so fun to see because you get to see the, the, you know, same characters that you know in these ridiculous situations. Uh, you know, one of my favorite weapons, and it's it's clearly a favorite weapon in the in the movie, is is there's a bear trap, and so you'll see them like approach the person with a bear trap, and and it just looks insane, but it's also very funny because that's one of the main weapons in the in the in the game and the movie. Um, you know, I'm gonna break my mold. Fourth thing I loved about this film is the ending. It is, uh, and again, spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't love the fact that they killed one of the friends, but I did love how they connected that to other parts of the ending, where they, you know, they renamed the game to to take that into account, and then at the end, there's this really, really funny kind of uh, infomercial that Adam is filming about his game company and how he is is now a game entrepreneur and he, he made Murderberry win he's making other games and you know it's it's just a, it fits with the tone of the film and it's 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 a very funny way to end I love films that do that in the ending that kind of keep the story going and give you like a little extra glimpse into the world so uh those are all things I liked I mean it, it's tough to say there's things I didn't like I mean there's some things that I recognized like you know there's a little bit of, of some indie aspects to it. I mean, I know that the film was was filmed in a, a crazy pace. I think it was filmed over 14 days, which is nuts for a, a movie. And so, you know, there's some scenes where maybe the audio is not perfect or it sounds a little off, uh, but whatever, I, I, I can forgive those. I, you know, I, the, I understand that this is an indie film. You're going to get some of those rough edges in an indie film and, and the overall movie is just fantastic. Um, and then I guess, you know, I can say I, I loved what they did with the ending. I didn't love that they, you know, killed one of the characters. I thought that, that that scene progressed too quickly and without, you know, much uh, buildup. But I understand where it came from and I understand, you know, what it did to the story. But, you know, that being said, I didn't, I didn't love that part. But overall, Murder, Berry Win is a, it's a very funny very darkly you know if you have a kind of a, a sick sense of humor a dark sense of humor or a, a board game nerd sense of humor strangely those sometimes kind of mix sometimes they don't but if you have any of those you're gonna love this movie it is it is it was such a treat to see it's it's um it's out available it's available digitally so you can rent it or buy it uh digitally and, and watch it at home it is it is something that should not be missed especially if you fall into any of those categories board games true crime, nerd humor, any of those things, you're going to love it. And if not, I think you still have plenty to appreciate. Like the, the, the characters are fun to watch, the, the situations are ridiculous and over the top. And uh, overall, it's just a very fun 90 minute movie. I, you know, I didn't, I, I kept wanting to know more and wanting to see where the, the story took its next turn. And it did not disappoint. So that's Murder, Berry Win. It's available digitally and uh, you can check it out uh, from the comfort of your own home. Maybe, you know, have a board game night. Watch the movie, play a board game. Watch the movie with your board game night. They'll like it. Hopefully it won't end in murder, but I don't know. I don't know what your board games are, what your board game nights are like. Maybe that's how they normally end. I don't know. I'm not going to judge, but uh, you should definitely watch this film. If you liked this review, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot to make sure all my new interviews go straight to you. And as always, please go to watcherpass.com for all your movie reviews, interviews, and recommendations. Thank you. <music>